Alright, so this car here, let's put a trailer hitch on this. No way, I've been looking for that. Alright, so if the floor moved, now it's time to remove the bumper, so... Alright, so this is the, uh, the trailer hitch here, it's pretty much just going right on there. Now this, now this towing hook here needs to be cut off. That fits right in between there. You know, the ball, the ball fits right in between there, so it needs to come off. So let's let's cut that. Alright, there it is, it's off.
So right here, this top mounting hole here, there's going to be a bolt, goes in between here, but there's a, there's a gap here, so what needs to happen is a spacer is going to be inserted into here. I'm going to cut this in half and put this one here half, half over there to that side. You know, I, I'm going to cut bigger than it needs. So if it's too big, I can always cut it. I can always grind it down more, but... Alright, so the problem is that doesn't fit through. Perfect. Kind of see a gap in there, but I'm just. through I think it'll be fine Alright, so you see how there's a gap there, and then when I push, see studs here, you can't, you can't get the nut back on there. Torque to spec right there. So drilling holes at the top here, you know there's three holes, one there, two over there. I cannot reach these holes over here because of the muffler. Now, now so what I did is I measured the holes on the thing, on the hitch, measured the distance between each hole, and I'm just gonna drill and hopefully I get one of the holes. So my mark is right there. So I'm gonna go a little bit to the right. About there. <laughs>
There's a hole. Get a bigger drill bit here. Oops. Make sure that's tighter. Perfect. Next distance. Measuring from the middle of the hole is 20, 24 and a half. There's my mark there, I'm going to I'm gonna drill I'm gonna drill all the way over here. With the smaller drill bit. That was close. Might even put some sealant around there, but so there you go. All six holes through on each side are now drilled. So that one's under there. Ah, it's a shame to cut these bolts at 30 mil when they're, um, you know, 75 mil long. This is all I got right here, so. So, 30 mil they go. And I put these nuts on here so when you cut it, you unthread the nuts and it saves your threads. So I just wanted to move my exhaust over to um, drill some holes up in here and the thing thing rusted right off and just fell off. So there you go. And that's an original Honda muffler right there. Thing took 20 years to rust right off. So there you go. Let's, let's see how this thing sounds with no muffler on it. Check it out, sounds pretty good, eh? 
Might leave it like that for a few days. <laughs> then after this. There we go. Now will that fit in there? Yes. Alright, so bumper needs to be cut. See this hitting that mount right there, so just marked it. Oops. I've just marked out where to cut, so let's start cutting it. Alright, so from those marks there, let me talk about trailer plugs and um, wiring right here so this is what came with the hitch now this is a 13 pin connector this is pretty much used for if you're towing a, a caravan or something you, you, you can charge up internal batteries it has or like run a fridge or something as you're driving as you're towing it and this here is a 7 pin connector, this is more common for, for trailers, just strictly for lights, 13's for charging, this is just, just for running lights, and plus this is more common too. Now, you, you can buy adapters, like that, twist it, and there you go, now you got a, a 7 pin which was originally on a 13. So there you go. The reason why I'm putting 7 on is because it's a lot lot more simple to wire up. So there's only 7 wires compared to 13. And then you got your charging thing there for charging your batteries. So, I just, just picked this one up from the uh, junkyard. That's all you need, right? It's even even another one there. Let's, let's go and install this.
wants to go through. I mean, that shouldn't get ripped off, right? <laughs> Alright, I was just doing tests with a multimedia and I noticed I wasn't getting a connection for brown. There's your problem right there, it just broke right off. So I guess the trick is not to pull this wire too hard. Or like twist it. So, let me fix that real quick. So now the wiring for this thing. This is the, um, the diagram I made here for it. Now this this wire is going to go to the it's going to go under here, and it's go and going to go to the left side. And for the wires that need to go to the right side, so for example, right turn signal. I'm going to use this wire. It's going to snake under through here and go to the right side so that's the power wire right there which is orange so with the side lights on I'm not sure why the bulb isn't working um, but Put it on this red and yellow wire there. So that is power for our taillights right there. Keep the whole brake on. I'm gonna use this brick. Hold it on like that. White wire tab. Or whatever there's voltage there so, so that white wire is a brake light Alright, so this side's pretty much finished. While well, we're electrically tape hasn't worked, I've just used some um, shrink tube. Um, you know, actually holds holds the wires together without soldering them. Obviously, it should be soldered, but so uh, this white wire here is ground, and I'll be using this using that connector. And I'll connect it right, right there. Alright, that's good. Add it in. Just testing to make sure it all works. Now this is in pin 1, so that's left turn signal.
Yep, there you go, that, that one works. Right turn signal is number four. Yep, there you go, that, that's uh, working. Pin. Pin seven. Pin five. Let me try ground here, so ground is this one. Ground is that one, and pin five is this one. Yep, that one works. There we go. That's cool. Alright, so brake light is number six. So, if you can see that one in there. And ground is that one. Yes, there we go. Alright, perfect. I wired that up correctly, the uh, lights on a trailer, when I plug that in, should work. Alright, so I got a tail light out, let me just replace this bulb. That's working, let's try. And that's tight brake lights. Alright, so this wire came out of that connection there, so let me fix that real quick. There we go, that is the wiring pretty much fixed and that tail I was at, so that was good to get that fixed. Yeah, Alright, so the trailer hitch is all finished, all the electrical works, um, it's pretty much it's ready to tow. So the next video on this will be buying a new trailer and fixing that.